Hello everyone, my name is Sibrin and I am going to teach you mathematics. So students, in the last class we have started the exercise number 1.1. We have done the introductory part, alright. So today we will be starting with the questions of exercise 1.1, okay. So let's start. The first question. Following number line shows the temperature in degree Celsius at different places on a particular day. This is a number line and on this particular number line we are mentioned different different places right like Lahul Spiti, Srinagar, Shimla, Uti and Bangalore alright students and these places have some sort of particular temperature alright students so we will solve the question regarding this number line and regarding these places with appropriate temperature alright students so what is the first part observe this number line and write the temperature of the places marked on it you have to observe the number line and mark the temperature of the places mentioned alright students so let's start so beginning with Lahul Spiti clearly you can see Lahul Spiti the temperature is in degree Celsius alright so we are starting with 0 as we have discussed in the last class, the numbers to the left side of 0 are the negative numbers. Alright students, so this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. Then it is minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. Now you can clearly see that minus 8 is the temperature of Lahul Spiti. Alright, like minus 10, minus 9 and minus 8. Alright students. So, the temperature of Lahul Spiti is minus, minus 8 degree Celsius, okay. So, 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 this is the temperature of Lahul Spiti. Next is the temperature of Srinagar. Srinagar's temperature is 0, minus 1 and minus 2, okay. 0, minus 1 and minus 2 minus 2 degree Celsius. Alright students, next Shimla. Shimla's temperature is clearly 5, clearly 5 degree Celsius. Okay, next Uti's temperature. Temperature of Uti is 15, 1 left means 14 degree Celsius. Alright students and last one Bangalore. What is the temperature of Bangalore? 20, 21 and 22. Okay. So, Bangalore's temperature is 22 degree Celsius. So, students this is the first part of your question. So, let us see the next part. What is the temperature difference between the hottest and the coldest places among the above? Okay. So, it is very clear that the hottest temperature will be having the temperature in the most rightest side of the number line. Okay. And the coldest place is the temperature of a place who is the leftest side of the number line. Alright. The more negative the number is, the more smallest the number is, the more colder the place is. Okay. And the more positive the number is, more hotter it will be. Okay, students. So, let us see the B part. What is the hottest place? Hottest place is Bangalore. Okay, students. So, the hottest place. This is your part B. Hottest place is Bangalore with temperature 22 degrees Celsius and coldest place is coldest place is Lahul Spiti. Clearly you can see minus 8 degree Celsius. Okay students. So, coldest place is Lahul Spiti with temperature minus 8 degree Celsius. Now, you have to find out the difference between these two temperatures. Okay students. So, the difference between the temperature is equals to hottest place minus coldest place. Hottest place temperature is 22 degree Celsius. 
minus of minus 8 degree Celsius. So, students have a look here 22 degree Celsius minus minus 8 degree Celsius minus minus is plus ok. So, 22 degree Celsius plus 8 degree Celsius that is equals to 30 degree Celsius ok. So, this is the answer to your B part clearly you can see the question was asking you what is the temperature difference between the hottest place and the coldest place ok. So, the temperature of hottest place is 22 degree Celsius that is the temperature of Bangalore and the temperature of coldest place is that of Lahul Spiti that is minus 8 degree Celsius. So, the difference is 22 degree Celsius minus of minus 8 degree Celsius minus minus is plus. So, 22 plus 8 is equals to 30 degree Celsius alright students. So, this was your B part. So, let us see the C part. What is the temperature difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar? Now, you have to find the difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar alright students. So, we will be, we'll be discussing this part. Lahul Spiti's temperature is minus 8 degree Celsius alright students and Srinagar's temperature is minus 2 degree Celsius. So, the difference between these two more the temperature is of that of Srinagar right. So, Srinagar's temperature minus of the temperature of Lahul Spiti. minus minus is plus. So, minus 2 degree Celsius plus 8 degree Celsius is equals to 6 degree Celsius ok students. So, the temperature difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar is of 6 degree Celsius ok students you can have a look temperature of Lahul Spiti minus 8 degree Celsius temperature of Srinagar minus 2 degree Celsius and the difference is minus 2 minus minus 8 minus 2 plus 8 is equals to plus 6 degree Celsius alright students. So, let us see the D part. The T part says can we say temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is less than the that of temperature at Shimla means the temperature of Srinagar and Shimla if we take these two temperatures together is the resultant temperature less than the temperature at Shimla you have to find out that ok. And in the next part is it also then is it also less than the temperature at Srinagar ok. Firstly you need to find out the temperature together of Shimla and Srinagar and then compare it with Shimla and Srinagar in the next part ok. So, let us do the D part. Ok students, so have a look D part temperature taken together of La of Srinagar and Shimla ok. Shimla's temperature is 5 degree Celsius here and Srinagar's temperature is minus 2 degree Celsius. So, the temperature taken together ok. So, if we take the temperatures together. 5 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius. So, 5 degree Celsius plus minus is minus that is 3 degree Celsius ok. So, this is the temperature of Shimla and Srinagar taken together alright students. So, now firstly we have to compare this taken together temperature with that of Shimla. So, temperature of Shimla is 5 degree Celsius right. So, if we take the temperature of Srinagar and Shimla together the result will be 3 degree Celsius and the result will always be less than that of Shimla because Shimla's temperature is 5 degree Celsius. So, we can clearly say that the temperature of Shimla and Srinagar taken together is less than that of tem temperature at Shimla ok. And in the next part we have asked that it is asked that is it also less than that of temperature at Srinagar? No, it is not. Why? Because Srinagar's temperature is minus 2, ok. 
so 3 degree celsius is greater than that of minus 2 ok. So, we can say that the temperature of Shimla and Srinagar taken together is greater than that of Srinagar ok. So, this was your first question students I hope that you all understood whatever I have taught you ok students. So, let us move to the next question. Next question says in a quiz there is a quiz positive marks are given for correct answers ok and negative marks are given for incorrect answers. You are given positive marks for the correct questions or answers and negative marks for the incorrect answers. If Jack's score in 5 successive rounds were 25, minus 5, minus 10, 15 and 10, what was his total at the end? We have to find his total. You just need to total it, ok? So, his total will be firstly 25, then 5, then minus 10, then 15 and then 10. Clearly you can see it will we have to do the total in this particular way. Alright students. So, plus minus is minus plus minus is minus then 15 plus 10 ok students 25 minus 5 is equals to 20 20 minus 10 is equals to 10 10 plus 15 is equals to 25 and 25 plus 10 is equals to 35 so the 35 is the total of jack's score all right students so this was the question number 2 you have to find out the total of jack's score ok so, the total of Jack's score is equals to this particular calculation that is 35. Ok students. So, let us move to the third question. Third question says, at Srinagar temperature was minus 5 degrees Celsius on Monday. The temperature of Srinagar on Monday was minus 5 degree Celsius. Alright students, then it dropped by 2 degree Celsius on Tuesday. What it mean? That on Tuesday the temperature dropped by 2 degree Celsius. What is dropping? Dropping means temperature is further decreased. Decreased means it is negative. Okay. So, you have to do minus 2 because the temperature is dropping. Okay. So, what was the temperature of Srinagar on Tuesday? Firstly, you have to find out the temperature of Srinagar on Tuesday. How can we detect? Because it is given that the temperature on Tuesday dropped by 2 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, the temperature dropped on Tuesday is equals to 2 degrees Celsius. Okay. When it is given that temperature is dropping, then the temperature on Tuesday is equals to minus 5 degrees Celsius minus of 2 degrees Celsius. Why it is minus? Because it shows the dropping. Okay. It shows the dropping of temperature. So, minus 5 degrees Celsius minus 2 degrees Celsius is equals to minus 7 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, the answer is minus 7 degree Celsius. Ok students, it is clear. Then on Wednesday it rose by 4 degree Celsius. Means whatever the temperature on Tuesday was, it rose by 4 degree Celsius. It means that the temperature has increased. Ok students. So, what was the temperature on this day? Means that is on Wednesday. Ok students. So, temperature rose by 4 degree Celsius. So, the temperature on Wednesday was equal to minus 7 degree Celsius that is the temperature on Tuesday plus 4 degree Celsius. Why it is plus? Because the temperature rise ok. The temperature is rising ok. So, minus 7 degree Celsius plus 4 degree Celsius equals to minus 3 degree Celsius. Alright students, so the temperature on 
Wednesday was minus 3 degree Celsius. Okay, students. So, this was the question number 3. Okay. So, question number 4, students. A plane is flying at the height of 5000 meters above the sea level. Okay. At a particular point, it is exactly above a submarine floating 1200 meters below the sea level. Okay. So, what is the vertical distance between them? We have to find out the vertical distance between the plane and the submarine. Alright, students. In the question, it is clearly mentioned that this is the sea. The plane and the sea is 5000 meters distance. Okay. The plane is above the distance of 5000 meter. Okay. Above the sea level. So, it will be considered as positive because it is considered above the sea level. Alright, students. Then there a particular point comes where the plane is exactly above the submarine. Alright, students. The submarine which is at 1200 meter below the sea level. Okay. So, if I am considering the plane and sea level as positive integer distance. Okay. So, I will consider the opposite of it that is below the sea level as negative integer. Alright, students. So, this will I consider minus 1200 meters. Alright, students because it is vertically down okay it is below the sea level so we have to find out the vertical distance between the plane and the submarine all right students so the vertical distance we have to find out okay firstly we are considering the plane at 5000 meters all right students and the submarine at minus 1200 meters all right students submarine is minus at minus 1200 meter and the plane at plus 5000 meter above the sea level all right students so if i have to find out the vertical distance okay then what i need to do the initial position of the plane that is 5000 meters plus 5000 meters minus the final position that is the end point of the submarine that is at minus of 1200 meter right so minus and minus will plus okay it will add up. So, 5000 plus 1200 will turn out to be 6200 meters. Okay. So, the vertical distance between them that is the plane and the submarine is 1200 meters. Fifth question says Mohan deposits rupees 2000 in his bank account and withdraws rupees 1642 from it the next day. If withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by a negative integer, then how will you represent the amount deposited? Firstly, if you are particularly representing the amount deposited as positive integer, then it is very clear that the amount withdrawal is in negative integer. But here it is mentioned that withdrawal is represented as negative integer. Then it is very clear that amount deposited is in positive integer. Okay. So, from this particular line, it is clear that we will represent the amount deposited in positive integer. Okay, students. So, next part find the balance in Mohan's account after the withdrawal. Now we have to find the balance in Mohan's account. So the balance is equals to amount deposited minus amount withdrawal. That is 2000 minus 1642 that is 358 rupees okay students so nowadays we represent the rupee in this way all right students so this was your fifth question okay students so i hope you all got what i said to you do practice at your home till then have a nice day we'll practice the next question in the next class okay students Bye-bye.